okay may look a bit jaded that's because i am well this is um this is trace's secret spot and obviously i can't say where it is because it then it won't be a secret um but anyway we've spent the night here um as you can see like this um put the tent up in the rain packed up in the rain just put wet socks on and wet shoes uh, and wet and wet um, waterproofs but we're having so much fun so um yeah we need the sun to shine now we need to just get dried out because this is i think it's probably the worst setup and pack up we've had um but anyway we've got to go now and get a ferry across to somewhere <laughs> we're closer to home the further we go the closer we get to oh home. julie wants to go home Okay, just coming out of uh, the secret spot, which I would imagine would look lovely, lovelier on a nice and sunny day without the mist. So, okay, we've got to retrace ourselves because um, we were guided up here yesterday from tracing and her black Labrador. So now we've got to get try and get back down and find the footpath. Ooh. Maybe around here somewhere. Hello. It's a bit misty. Yeah. Okay. Well, we found the uh, we found the inlet, which uh, is I think it's either the Yelm Estuary or Yelm River. Either way, we've got to cross. We've got to cross it by a ferry, which was the one yesterday that stopped running at ooh, stopped running at four o'clock. Um, so we are going to have to make it. We're going to make our way down to the ferry. Probably said that already, but the lady said, uh, the famous Tracy, that there's a pub down there down the bottom in the village which does breakfast so it's 10 o'clock now um, and we've just had it all we've had is a cup of tea this morning so we're hoping we can um, get some food and um, suss out where the fair is crossing this looks nice it's a lovely spot Even better when the sun would be bloody shining though. Well, here we are, down at the Yelm, oh, Yelm Estuary. Quite pretty. It smells a bit seaweedy, but it's very pretty. Looking for the ferry, but because it's kind of looks like it's a mid tide or something, definitely not high tide. We're open. Ooh, there might be a place where the ferry goes across when it's at this level. Hang on, here we go. Uh, ferry. To Saint Seasonal Ferry to Nos. That's where we've got to go, Nos Mayo. Oh. Well, it says down here. Oh, God, it does smell, I tell you. Really stinks. And across from the other side on a paddleboard, and I kind of thinking. <laughs> yeah, we got to Wembury last night about five and went, oh no. Oh, you camped up, you? We camped up rough to last did night. You, did you want to step down? Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Right, yeah, I give, um, yeah, never mind. It was, we thought it might be, uh, well, it's probably nicer to camp there than ever here, anyway. But yeah, well, we get back the on thing the thing is, you wouldn't be. You would have liked to have got across the arm today, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, we're not in any particular rush, but we just knew that we'd be pretty stuck. Um, yeah. Sort of, because we couldn't go any further than here last yeah. night, so. Yeah. We all right here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've got 
I've never heard anybody been prosecuted because of it. No. And there used to be a little wooden bridge that you could go across, but I don't, that's closed now, I think. So oh, you've really? got to go basically up to, almost up to the A379. Oh, gosh, right. yeah. And then go across, there's a bridge. Yeah. I've got a map It's, um... So we'll get a, you know, get a cab. I mean, a cab's going to cost you, you know. Yeah. Mind you, I'm bloody dear enough as it is. You know. <laughs> yeah. A cab would cost you 20 quid, I reckon. Yeah. So it's, it's a, it might be. With all these little yeah, little maybe we just plod on and we just we just kind of find somewhere this this side and wait till tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so maybe a three hour walk today. Yeah. I think that's what we'll end up doing. Yeah. I think. Stay put until and then, then get across the first thing in the morning. What yeah. time is the right tide for getting a ferry in the morning then, do you think? Oh you walk across there or you ferry across. You walk across the air. Yeah, you've got to wade it, yeah. You wade it, that's it, it, yeah. Okay, as you can see, we're across the other side now, we've managed to get across the Yelm and we are now gonna head up to a little pub called the Ship. The ferryman recommended. Uh, we've got to get across another river. I think it's Elm, but I'll come back to you on that one. But we've got to get across another estuary river, and the tides are wrong, so we're not going to probably be able to get across that until maybe 8 o'clock tonight. So I think at the moment we're going to grab something to eat and have take the, our time to get to that position maybe hang about um, and have an easier day to get there and either camp just before or um, get across at eight o'clock and then find some of the wild camp across the other side I suppose it all depends on the weather um, but yeah four quid for the ferry each and then um, get up to the ship have a coffee for English breakfast. I suppose it'd be just a snicker bar or something, but anyway, let's see how we get on. Okay, well, here's the ship at Nos Mayo, where we've just got the ferry to. So, oh, there it is. I was thinking it was on the right. But there's some, um, oh. God dear. But anyway, yes, the ship, here it is. We're at Nos Mayo. Um, some beautiful places around here, I tell you. So, hopefully, I don't know how you get into this stuff. <laughs> Let's have a look. It's just right here. There hasn't been a gateway in there yet. Oh, there it is, I think. Is that it down there? Julie? Down there? No, I think we might have to go Found it. Found it at last. Lovely spot. Recommend this place. Well, we haven't had any food yet, but it looks really pretty. Um, I bet it looks even nicer with the tide in. Some cracking places. And I think it's now time to eat. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we're back on the trail. We just come from the ship in, just across the water. Lovely looking pub. Landlady. Ooh, attitude. Anyway, so we've just had a coffee there. So we've now crossed, crossed over uh, the little inlet. And we're walking now down towards the swan. Um, maybe I've popped down just now, so they do food. Just put some pastries in there, so we're going to go down there and see if we can maybe grab a table and have something to eat. Although, knowing our luck, it'll be probably fully booked and we'll have to see. But we're going to see if we can get some, get a bit of grub. But that's about it, really. I just want some food, some proper home cooked food. 
Okay, success on a plate. Look at this. Meze with a pint of prawns. Oh, and beer. Delicious. Gotta get stuck in. A lovely hour spent for brunch lunch. Isn't that? Yeah. That's probably the best food we've had. So we're now getting back on the road. It was a shame to leave actually. So thoroughly recommend that place. If you ever want to come over here for a nice long weekend, it's Nos Neos, Neos Mayo. Yeah. And the pub was called the the Swan. The Swan, not the ship. Not the ship. Oh, definitely go to Swan. Very good. Anyway, over and out. Back on the path. Pleasant walk up through the woods. The estuary behind. Really nice now. I'm dead. Sun's just trying to creep through the clouds. Hopefully, by the time we get around the corner, blazing. A little bit blowy, but it's looking across the. Um, Looking across the inlet, across to Wembury, Wembury Church and Wembury up on the hill where we walked up last night. Uh, we camped last night over there somewhere, Trace's secret spot. And then if you look over there, that's looking over towards Rame Head, part of the point there. And um, Plymouth's just in the inlet over where those uh, big cargo ships are. Catch her up. What's the name of the island? Mewstone, that's it. Look at this for a view. That's not look real, does it? Oh, no. Oh, so much nicer than yesterday. What a difference in the sun's on it. Mm. That must be um, not rain over there, but in between that must be Plymouth. There's that big, that big tanker that was moored off Drake's Island. Yeah. That's that Houston. Yeah, that Yeah. Okay. Just rounding the uh, the point now, and then away from Rain Head and Plymouth, looking down the coast. Look at that. That's glorious. I hope we find a nicer spot to camp than special, Trace's special spot. Oh, it was probably it would have been lovely if it had been sunny. <laughs> Last night it was rather damp. If only the paths were the same 
It's this all the way along. Oh, look at that for a lovely spot to camp. Oh, oh, oh that would have been a beauty last night. <laughs> Too early now. Too early now. <laughs> Well, we've been walking this very, very flat uh, part of the coastal path for probably a good hour now, isn't it? Like a track, basically a track. And it's been so nice, so, well, so easy. But I would say the only drawback is that we're looking down at the, the lovely clear sea. And, um, but there's no way that you can actually get down to the sea and I'd love to get in for a swim at the moment, it's quite warm. Um, but I'd say that's the only, uh, the only thing that I've got against it, is not being able to get down for a swim. Apart from that, it's lovely. Easy on the feet. Easy on the feet. Yeah. Easy on the knees. Yeah, it's good. And make such a big difference when you can can actually see the scenery not like yesterday afternoon when it was just mizzle weren't it it was mizzle it was head down arse up it was head down arse up yeah. well i would say about two hours ago it was the easiest walk we've done, or the easiest path. This last hour has been a killer. And we just don't seem to be making, I don't know about making any progress, but um, I think it's the longest five miles we've walked. Um, we've got to get to a place called, oh, I can't, I can't remember now. Um, I shall remember in a minute. Mother something or other. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's not that. And uh, we've got across the the Erm E R M E, I think it is. But you can only you can only cross it or ford it when it's um, obviously low tide. So someone, the ferry guy, was saying we could do it at eight o'clock tonight. But to be honest, we were hoping a kind of wild camp before that. Um, but we don't know how close we are. Uh, the map's not working very well, the internet. So, um, but we think we're pretty close, but it's uh, definitely taking a toll. So if anyone says it's easy, this walk, it ain't, not in big stretches. I just want to soak my feet somewhere nice. Mm -hmm. I want to soak my feet. Soak my feet in a couple of... Walk soak my feet in a couple of pints of Thatcher's. And then drink one at the same time. Okay, just got down to this beach. From the coast path. But we've got to wait. Well actually, we've got to cross the beach. Go up through those woods. And then we need to cross the beach or the river which is up through here I think to get over to the other side but it's not low tide until 10 o'clock tonight so we'll, uh, we'll have to see how we get on there. just got down to Muth Muthcombe not Mothercombe, Mothercombe Beach. And uh, you see the estuary over there. I think we've just got to wait a little while 
Uh, I think low tide is at oh, 10.39. So I'm thinking we can see some people wading across there, but if we stop for a little while, then we can maybe wade across over there where those kids are, where slipway. Mm -hmm. And then we can walk over there and find a lush camping spot. Because there's no campsites for not until you get to Big Bree. So we are going to have some cake that we purchased, purchased early air. Okay, here's a nice spot. Okay, cake time. Okay, okay. Okay, it's um, uh, wet feet time again. This is the second time we've had to forward it across and we've got to get across to that bank over there. It's flowing quite fast. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna see how we get on. And all we know, it's cold and it's wet. And it's hurting our little feet. Oh, 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 why, that hurts me. Well, we, we'd give up once because it was hurting our feet too much. It just kills your feet. I think our feet are um, pretty sore from today. And um, it's, not, it's not that it's cold, it's like a shingle bottom on the, um, yeah, on the riverbed there. And it's just, it just ah, kills your feet. Anyway, we're going to have another go um, and see how we got on. Uh, well, there's birds there, so it can't be that deep, but they've got to get to there. We've got to get through the deep bit to get to where the birds are, and then we don't know what's after that bit. I think you've got to you know, either put our socks on or um, grin and bear it. What do you think? It is too hard. Not, I'm not joking, <laughs> that bloody hurt. <coughs> that really, really hurt. <coughs> but we're across. Oh, God, dear. <coughs> it's only up to about our knees, but <coughs> so painful on our feet. Oh, dear. Moon, moon, moon. Okay, well, we decided to make camp on the beach. Not perfect spot, high tides lines just beyond there, so we should be fine. It's just that you obviously get sand everywhere and the tent and everywhere, I think, but we've got the little wood burner going and we've got, um, yeah, we've got the little wood burner going here, which has, seems to be going quite well. Quite impressed with that. Here we go. So we're just boiling up some water for a one of these summit to eat. And today's is chicken tikka with rice. Mm -mm. Oh, we've got. I think we've got a carafe of white wine as well. A carafe. <laughs> no, actually, we've got this. Look. This is our uh, wine supply. Our wine bladder. <laughs> our decanted wine. <laughs> decanted wine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see how we got on. We're just open. It's not going to rain. It's definitely in the air. Yeah. So we'll just have to see. Okay. Just to let you know what happens in the morning. <laughs> bye bye.